All right. Remember, we are pills in a world. We're a medicine. They let us in. The men, the women, the men, the women, the medicine. They let us into the world. We're pills. All right. The reason why we have to build the world a certain way is because in the continuation of life, think about it, above us, at a larger perspective, there's a tree with one of these hanging on it, and we're living inside of it. We're living on it. But it's like an egg. All right, so essentially we're living in an egg, for lack of a better understanding. But that's our life. That's our life. We go in and through the continuation of life, prevent the destruction of the environment of that egg. We sponsor the continuation of development of that baby that we live on. We're a part of it. And then we continue from a micro perspective to continue its life, cell regeneration. Regeneration, regeneration. <laughs> that micro level inside of one of those eggs of a hatch. I'm sorry, inside of one of those eggs of those trees that merge out of nowhere in your world. They'll have trees too. And there'll be things that live inside of them. So it's just a continuation. But we have to build it a certain way. We have to use a tech formula. That's the baby formula of sorts. The tech formula and how we behave to give it the best path. So we ask ourselves like, okay, if this tree grows and these eggs or these worlds spawn on it, they, they, they fruit on it, they grow on it, but we can put ourselves in there because we are nutrients of the tree or there's other ways, right? But the idea is once you've achieved that, all right, then you understand life, then you understand the evolution, you can witness it, all right? But even that, those that hatch, it's, it's, it's the most important thing in the whole world, literally the whole world's built just for this, all right? So you have a responsibility to build the tech the right way because what hatches out of that could destroy the environment. It's not going to build the baby, it's going to potentially hurt the baby. So you have to program it the right way. That's why they give us those tools to begin with. That's why God gives us those tools, the creator, the tech, his presence to begin with. And it gives us the, you know, because at every level it can't control it. It only gathers enough energy later on to control itself. It needs us to act as the facilitation process to start the tech, to begin with, to, in, to, to invent it. Remember, it's here before we're here, but it can't, you know, computers don't exist unless we build them, for example, all right? Somebody's not taking care, something's not, ta something intelligent's not taking care of this world that's just dangling from a tree unless we're here, smart enough to do that process. So what can these become? A lot of different things. Use your imagination. Look at nature. If it's here, it can be here. If it's already in your world, it can be here. So... You don't want crazy stuff. You don't want giant, blah, nasty stuff. Think about Christmas. Think about the fact that it's a horn growing out of the earth to begin with. Reindeer. Reindeer. You want, you, you, you want reindeer. And they can fly. Maybe you want a human. Maybe you want a human. Maybe you want a unicorn. Something like that. That's what we want to build. We don't want something crazy like some, some dragon, some reptilian dragon that's going to destroy everything. And the earth don't want that either. So that's why it puts us here, it lets us live here to be able to do those things. This process, us living here, wouldn't... Think about all the other times life's existed elsewhere. They check on it. They check on it and see, is it symbiotic? Does it work? Right? That's why we go in with this intelligence system to say, okay, guys, now is a pivotal point in your world. You got to learn how to do this stuff because it's the most important thing. And we, in the continuation of our existence, depends on it. Think about that. Those words are very, very important.